Hello everyone, welcome back to Electrified Outdoors. Today we're here in my studio because we have a scorching heat wave outside. But today I'm here to answer a very common question that I see online, and that is, can my non-Tesla EV use Tesla superchargers? And if so, which ones can it use? Today I'm gonna to answer that question, so let's get started. Okay everyone, so the link will be in the video description. It'll have all the options pre-selected for you. I'm just gonna type this in anyway though, in case you don't have access to the video description for whatever reason, or if you just wanna type it in yourself. We're gonna to go to tesla.com forward slash find us. And this is gonna bring up the Tesla map. And it's gonna bring up our location. And it, by default, it's gonna have everything selected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna deselect everything except for these two. Superchargers open the NAX and superchargers open to other EVs. Now here's the scoop. Any EV can charge at these superchargers that say they're open to other EVs. Any EV can charge there. Those are what's called magic dock chargers. The ones that are open to NAX are not available to all non-Tesla EVs. They're only available to the vehicles that are part of the NAX program. Currently, that's Ford and Rivian. Some others will follow soon, so be sure to check the video description where I'll have all the updated links. But if you don't have a Ford or Rivian, you want to uncheck this one that says Superchargers Open to NAX. And as you can see, there's not really a whole heck of a lot of Magic Dock chargers until you start getting up into like New York and that area. Now, if you're on the West Coast, there are quite a few more there. There's several in Colorado, and there's some in California. But as soon as I select Superchargers Open to NAX, I get a ton. And these are mostly gonna be all Tesla V3 Superchargers and the new V4 Superchargers. The V2 and the urban superchargers are not going to work with non-Tesla vehicles. Those are Tesla only. And so what you're going to do is just zoom in and you're going to select what you want. And there you can see. And it'll tell you that a NAX adapter is required. And it's open to Tesla and NAX enabled vehicles. Now if I select one of the other stations that's open to all other EVs, this is a Magic Dock charger. We can see that this is at a Royal Farms, and this is open to Tesla and other EVs with CCS compatibility. So this already has an adapter, you don't need an adapter. But this is basically how you're gonna find it. Now, if you have a Rivian vehicle, you can go right into your navigation, and you can find the Tesla superchargers that are compatible there. If you don't, you can put in your location here, and select these two options, or just the one if you don't have a NAX-enabled vehicle, and you'll be able to find all the superchargers that are open to your vehicle. If you have comments or questions, put them below in the comments section. We always love to hear from you down there. Remember to like, subscribe, and then hit that bell so you get notified anytime we add new content. And thank you guys so much for watching.